We use metrics for visualization. Our brains are good at visual pattern analysis. Looking at metrics, time value pairs in a chart also lets us find trends and outliers. Analytics aid visualization. We can use the metrics to calculate aggregations such as percentiles over a large population, discover trends and find correlations. Metrics can also be used for alerting. We can compare the metric value against a threshold and send notifications when that threshold is crossed. Analytics aid in alerting. We can apply analytics to calculate aggregations, standard deviations and alert if the calculated value crosses the threshold. The simplest form of monitoring uses alerting and visualization capabilities of metrics. You can manage individual instances or components such as percent CPU utilization of a specific server. In more complex environments, in addition to visualization and alerting, monitoring includes analytics. For example, in a service with tens or hundreds of nodes, it is inefficient and noisy to monitor the health of individual nodes, each of which can generate their own alerts. It is far better to monitor the overall health of the service by calculating a single metric of overall service performance and receiving a single alert when the service is performing below expected service level requirements. While it's possible to build static models to plan for such changes, the reality is that the characteristics of the application components are changing constantly. As a result, static models become obsolete rapidly and models that capture the dynamic nature of performance, in other words, metrics, are really the only way to accurately anticipate scaling requirements. In the chart here, an alert is fired every time the number of sessions falls below the defined threshold. You can avoid this noisy alerting and also be proactive if you instead calculated the week over week change and alerted when the rate of change went below a specified threshold. Comparison of performance metrics with their historical values help measure the effectiveness of optimizations or identify performance regressions introduced by new code. With any reasonably complex system, instrumenting each component or service to capture important performance characteristics, example latency of each stage, helps identify the longest poles and the best targets for engineering effort. Similarly, mapping out how costs will increase with scale can help identify and address top cost centers within a service. 24-7 expectations on the part of customers mean that monitoring has to be up to snuff. Scale tends to correlate with revenue and user growth in most software businesses. Performance is not just a matter of engineering prioritization, but also critical to customer satisfaction and retention.